Hi guys, welcome to another episode of CP Bowling and today is a practice session. So you can see we're not at Santa Lucia, we're here at Paeng's uh, Eastwood Bowling Center for my music. So uh, I have to cut this a bit short, but yeah, enjoy this practice session today. Let's go. It's very dry. Is it dry? Let's just check out how it's dry. Try the other ball. Alright, switching to the gem pearl. Shadow Malas in phase 2. So get it to 8 board, let's see what happens. Uh, better. With a little hook pa rin. <laughs> hooks, the face to hook so early. I'm moving. I'm already at you now. 10, 15, 20, 25. We're <laughs> 25, guys. Let's see. Come on! Layo! Dry ng lanes? Lanes are so dry! Let's hook on this seven. So the jumper was a little lazy. Let's try the phase two. Same line ng jumper. Get it out to the right. Oh, pulang. It's so dry. Ano ba to? Get it out to the right. It's too lazy. See with the oil. Selling at 20. Let's look at. In between second and third arrow. Oh, you find it talaga? Yeah, yeah. Okay, S look at second arrow, standing on 20. A bit more forward. <sighs> Tighter line na tayo. See what this does. Better. I need a pearl ball, talaga. 20 in between second and third arrow. Get the spare. So all my balls aren't doing anything. We're gonna go with the spare ball. See what this does. Spare ball get strikes. <laughs> so it was too far in the Makanina. Didn't go back. Let's go back to 20. Oh. 
Oh, alors que nous allons là. Okay, snap it closer. Crown uh, <laughs> some success with the gem pearl. Dumping it at the gutter. Alright, let's try that again. Setting a 20, dumping it to 8 board. Lazy. See if we can get a clean game here, guys. So brown. Dry no lanes. Mito. Alright, just stay in that zone and if it doesn't strike, get the spare. Pass over the split. Get it to the right. Come on. Okay, I'm standing at 18 and targeting eight board. Eight or seven. Nice. So, well, it's a little too. I think I was stepping too far to the right. At five board, it's the five. this at four board break point oh lucky so lucky there okay so we found some success we just our right side doing the left do this Rook! Try not to see what it'll do. Same spot now. Gem pearl. This does something. Let's get the face to out to the right a little bit more. See what it does. Ah, sobra. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go with the jump rail now, guys. And in 18, looking at Eight, get it two, four. Yes. Fifteen. Looking at five. Larry and little guys.
Ah, oh, no. Ulog. Bagsak ko eh. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, different format uh, where it's uh, a very raw and mic'd up version um, where you hear where I'm standing, what I'm targeting, and also my reactions. Um, some of it I had to remove, um, like I censored, <laughs> but it was a, a ton of fun practicing on these lanes and um, Something that I hope you guys take away from this is uh, conditions between different centers differ a lot. Um, if you take a look at my video, uh, my league videos where I play at Santa Lucia, I usually play really straight up um, from uh, in between the first and second arrow. So I usually target... Um, eight or even nine eight nine ten so it has to be in between um the first and second arrow so it just it'll just be depending on where i stand on the type of motion i'll I, i'd want to see down lane um and you see that the ball would hook uh further down the lane compared to where i was practicing now at eastwood so at Eastwood, the oiling is only 38 feet. It's very short and it's very thin. You'll see it when the ball comes back from the ball return. There's very little oil that you see on your ball. Um, I also try to play on the dry, so wet to dry, um, a little bit more so that it hooks back into the pocket. But most of the time, yeah, it's going beyond the pocket. Sometimes Brooklyn, as you guys saw on the strikes earlier. But it was a ton of fun. Just, you know, sometimes it's good for you to experience different uh, conditions so that you learn how to adjust. Um, and this happened to me when I started playing at E-Lanes. And the conditions are so different from when, from when I play at Santa Lucia. Oh, and uh, shout out to my wife that has been improving a lot in bowling. Uh, one of these days, I'll include her in our video so you guys can see uh, how she has progressed. But so far, now she's just using a plastic ball. Um, my goal is to buy a reactive ball for her and uh, maybe a two-ball bag and some bowling shoes. Um, there, so if there any companies there that want to sponsor uh, women's uh, bowling shoes hit me up and even bowling balls hit us up here because uh, these are gonna this is gonna be expensive imagine one bowling ball one bowling bag two ball bowling bag and then bowling shoes but you know I'm here to support um, her bowling journey too and uh, hopefully I get to show you guys that next time um, so there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the lanes. Bye.